Now we've collected some field survey data using EpiCollect 5 and it's time to bring that back in and put it into ArcGIS Pro. So once you've downloaded the data, you'll get this zip file and all you need to do is simply right click, right click on it and extract it. And you'll see you come up with a CSV file here. Now you can open that up in Excel if you want to check out what that looks like. Now there's two different ways that we can add this file into ArcGIS. So the first one is to go to add data and then go straight down to XY point data. And we can use this geoprocessing tool over here to add that information and then run the model and our data will pop up. Now the other way that we can do it is to quite simply drag and drop that CSV file directly into the project and you'll see that it appears on this right hand side over on the left hand side over in the table of contents. Now if we open this table we'll see just what we would have seen if we had have opened it in Excel. And the most important thing about this data is if you scroll over, you see that it's got the latitude and longitude information, which is going to allow it to display as points on my map. So let's just remove that for the moment and we can go to right click and display XY data. And this is going to pull up the same tool that the add data with the XY point data function did, but this time it's actually pre-populated a lot of stuff for us. So that just makes it a little bit easier and we don't have to fill in so many things. I would like to change the name of the output feature class though, because that is just a little bit messy there. So when that pops up, let's just go to where I'd like to store that data and give it a sensible output name. Once we've got the name in there, all we need to do is hit run and we should see our dots pop up in our map, which is wonderful. So you can see all these little colored dots here representing our field survey data. And now I can change those colors or do anything that I like with that symbology to, to create the map that I would like to see. Now really I'm going to be using these for calibration and validation of any classification that I create. So it's just good to see that they're popping in there okay. And then the other check that I would like to do is if I zoom into individual points, I can have a look and see what they've actually been labeled as. And I can just click on that point and see what data is sitting behind that. And I can see from my drone image there that it is, it is a brick and it has been labeled as infrastructure and labeled as a brick as well. So I'm really happy that my data point is sitting on top of where my, where my drone imagery is as well. So it's a good idea just to go through and have a bit of a check of some of your data to make sure that you're happy with its location and its accuracy.